हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू न्यू सेशन ऑन डेंटिस्ट्री एंड मोर टुडे टॉपिक इज ब्रेक पॉइंट क्लोरिनेशन सो ब्रेक पॉइंट क्लोरिनेशन इज कमिंग अंडर वाटर प्यूरिफिकेशन द लास्ट स्टेप क्लोरिनेशन सो वाटर प्यूरिफिकेशन हैज थ्री स्टेप्स इन स्लो सैंड द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज स्टोरेज वेर एज इन रैपिड सैंड इट हैज कैकुलेशन Flocculation, sedimentation, then it reaches to the filtration chamber, and finally, it reaches the disinfection or chlorination chamber. That is, chlorine will be added to the water to make it potable or drinkable. So first, we should understand what is turbidity. So the chlorine we add to the water depends on the turbidity. Turbidity is nothing but how dirty the water is, what, how much amount the contamination uh, present in the water. So the bacteria and other pathogens and other contaminants. So more turbid, we need more chlorine. Less turbid means less chlorine. More turbid means it is more dirty. Less turbid means it is less dirty. So it is directly proportional to the amount of chlorine. So now. Let's see what is break point chlorination. Suppose you take one liter of water, that is filtered water. After the filtration step, you take one liter of water, and you keep adding chlorine. Chlorine can be added by various methods, uh, chloramine and HTH or chlorine gas, whatever the method. In the one liter of water, we add chlorine. So we keep adding. Like 1.5 gram or 1.6 gram, so we keep adding just like how we did in our PUC or plus two time the chemistry lab experiment. 0.1 gram, 0.1 gram, we keep on adding and see what is happening inside the one liter of water. So we increase the amount. so it all get dissolved in this water because that much chlorine is required to decontaminate or disinfectant all the bacteria and other pathogens so we keep on adding all get dissolved so we add 1.6 1.7 till we add 2.4 on 2.5 what happens is when we add 2.4 nothing happened this is just an hypothetical example based on the turbidity this amount will be changed more turbid means we need to add more what more chlorine so when we add 2.5 there will be chlorine present in the water this is known as free residual chlorine and when the water is having free residual chlorine or the moment when the free residual chlorine appears in the water is known as break point chlorination so till 2.4 it is dissolved so it was completely dissolved but 2.5 it starts reappearing because the water is completely disinfected there is no need of any acid any chlorine for this water that is all bacteria all pathogen all contaminants is completely killed or destroyed by 2.4 grams of water so what happens the next amount will start appearing so it's just like saturation once the saturation reaches the amount will be or the whatever we add in the water will be precipitated so if we add Uh, sugar or salt in water once it reaches saturation it, it will not be dissolved anymore it starts precipitating the same way once it completely destroyed the bacteria other pathogens it start uh, residue it's, it's creating residues the residues will be formed in the water so that particular point is known as break point chlorination and this particular amount is known as chlorine demand it is nothing but same it is a technical name when the residual chlorine appears and this amount is known as chlorine demand 
and this depends this breakpoint urination depends on turbidity if it is very much dirty we need more water more chlorine so it we reach sometimes at 3.5 or sometimes at 4.5 if it is very less turbid more clearer water it may reach at 1.6 or it may reach at 0.8 break point chlorination reaches so it all depends on the turbidity how dirty it is so once we get this break point chlorination or chlorine demand what we need to do we need to add a 0.5 mg so we get the required amount of chlorine for 1 liter of water why we need this 0.5 because it should be present 1 liter of water for one hour period after one hour period there should be presence of 0.5 mg of free residual chlorine for make it to a drinkable water so this much amount should be there so this is break point chlorination and this is free residual chlorine so total is 3 3 mg per liter so how much ever is the amount we multiply with 3 if we have 1000 liter we multiply with 1000 or 1 lakh liter we multiply it with and we add that particular amount to this water so that is a concept of break point chlorination or chlorine demand if it is very much high if it is 4.5 we just add 0.5 and we get 5 mg per liter so that is the chlorine requirement and we add 1 liter 5 mg how much ever liter is present we multiply and find out the total chlorine requirement so that's all about break point chlorination it is a very simple concept sometimes you get confused what is break point chlorination and chlorine demand it is more or less similar this is a technical term when this free residual chlorine appears and that particular amount is known as chlorine demand okay so that is break point chlorination i'll come up with a new session on dentistry and more thank you